What I got here is a piece off the top of a regular propane tank. Someone had mentioned to me that on my video of what's inside a propane tank that I didn't show what's inside of a small propane tank. And this is basically what we got. And these two check valves both have a purpose. This first check valve here, the smaller one, is to keep gas from an oxygen tank or some other source from entering this tank. So you don't create an explosive hazard, or an explosion hazard, I mean. This here is a pressure relief valve. I'm not sure what pressure that goes off at. I suppose I could test it one of these days, but I'm trying to get a focus there. This valve right here basically keeps the bottle from exploding if you throw it in a fire or if the bottle gets too hot for some reason, that will vent over pressure. I used to think that's where they filled these tanks up, but that's actually not how they do it, I don't think. It may be, but I doubt it. It's possible that they could use this for a fill valve also, but for the most part, I'm positive this is an overpressure valve. And this is a check valve that stops oxygen from flowing into the gas tank because these are used with oxygen tanks. But that's basically what's inside a regular MAP gas or propane tank. They're all the same. They have these same two components. And another thing about this here, this valve requires, it seems like, two to three PSIs of pressure to function. So when the tank appears empty, you still have about two to three pounds of pressure of gas inside of this thing. So you got to make sure you use oil when you drill these holes in there. You can see the two holes that I drilled with a very slow bit covered in oil and then I take an air compressor and blow air in one hole and the gas vents out the other until I don't smell anything anymore and then you're safe to cut it open.